Hey guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have James here with me. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I think me and James filmed a video like last year. Yeah. Yeah. About a year ago now. Where I kind of interviewed James, or we kind of interviewed each other. Yeah. Sort of. So that was really cool. Um, we've changed a lot since then. Haven't we changed? Yeah, Joel? we've changed so much. <laughs> Haven't we changed? Yeah. Today, James and I put um, some little tips and tricks together about outfit pictures because obviously, for our kind of jobs and hobbies, we both take pictures of outfits or clothes and stuff. And so, I wanted to like give you guys some advice on how to do that. Yeah, I think we're kind of going to do it from two different aspects in the sense that obviously, if you're here, you probably follow Joel on Instagram as well. Um, Joel's is very high end if you will, like very like top-notch quality um, and then mine's just Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the reason that me and James collaborate as well is because we both have similar kind of aesthetics. Mm. So I think it's really interesting to see two perspectives on like outfit pictures and Instagram because I do it for my blog, James has his YouTube channel and Instagram, um, but won't necessarily use photographers whereas I collaborate a lot with photographers and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to put pictures um, kind of around from our Instagrams to kind of which are relevant to each point that we're talking about so you can kind of see examples of what is happening. Yeah. If that makes sense. So I'm going to start off with what you need and um, for me what I need is a camera like what I'm filming this on is a Canon 700D um, and at the moment I'm just using the kit lens that came with it to film my YouTube video but I, for outfit pictures I use a 50mm lens. It's called a prime lens, and it's like you can't zoom on it. And oh, so yeah. you have to stand really far back. Yeah, you have to stand yeah. really far away, <laughs> and it basically, it's really good for outfit shots because mm. it focuses kind of on the main thing and leaves everything else a bit blurry. Um, so that is what I use for my outfit pictures. But I also what James? I just use my phone. Yeah. I have a six plus, um, not the new one, not the six S or whatever. It's just like the original six plus, but. Um, yeah, you'll find that if it is just for Instagram, then this is enough to take a decent picture. Yeah, definitely viable. I, I use my phone all the time. Even if I'm out with an amazing photographer with like a really awesome camera getting mm. decent pictures, I say, can you just take a picture of my phone as well? Yeah, yes. I was surprised actually there's some really good pictures on your Instagram. And then that were actually taken on a phone. A few outfit shots we've done together that were just taken on a phone yeah. and sit really well within your feed still. Yeah. I think it's really cool. You need someone kind of with an eye for taking a good picture or like yeah. getting the best angle of you. So it can be a friend, it can be a photographer. Um, it just so happens that a lot of my friends are photographers, which is really helpful. None of my friends are, so <laughs> my friends are very good at taking direction though. So I think that's like... <laughs> yeah, direction as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, with your photographer or friend, you kind of guide them to like, what is your best kind of angle or where to take it from. If you take a picture from lower down, you can make yourself look taller. I know loads of like bloggers and Instagrammers that That's are what I do. so, <laughs> yeah. so short. And, they and then you meet them, tall. you're like... Yeah, they look so tall on Instagram <laughs> and then you meet them and they're tiny. Yeah, yeah. Oh, angles. Mm. Angles are very important. Yeah. Also to avoid the double chin. The double chin. Yeah, which is weird, you know, because I would have thought shooting from down below captures your double chin. Is your double chin. The double chin. Oh, but it doesn't, does it? That's right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that is yeah, what you need. Camera, photographer, slash friend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the next point is your outfit. Hmm. Um, Which is obviously, I suppose, the main thing for you. Well, it's an outfit picture, <laughs> so why are you taking the picture? <laughs> yeah. So you kind of have to be happy and comfortable in your outfit. Um, if you're not, then it kind of shows in the picture as well. Yeah, I think it's really obvious when someone doesn't like their outfit because, you know, outfit of the day pictures aren't the most natural poses, but it's really obvious when someone is uncomfortable in what they're wearing, um, whether it's literally because it doesn't fit or because, like, it's just not their style. And I think it's obvious it pops out of your feed and not in a good way when it's something you wouldn't usually wear. Yeah, mm. definitely. I think that, yeah, confidence and comfort are keys. That's what I think as well, whether you have 100 followers or like 100,000, those people are following you because they actually know you more than you think they do. So they'll recognize something that is not you straight away, like yeah. instantly. I think this is also kind of vibed into Instagram tips too, mm. because yeah. an outfit picture is not necessarily just for Instagram, because like I use it for my blog. Mm. and for Instagram and for other things, but... Okay, so yeah, be happy and confident in your outfit and mm. um, 
Make sure that you're clear. Oh, someone had a go at me once because one of my shirts was not ironed. Um, I mean, I don't have an iron. Who are you? Who time to iron in the morning? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, yeah. I don't know my parents. I can't iron. <laughs> I'm terrified of burning my clothes if yeah. I iron my stuff. Definitely. Yeah. It's too risky. Too risky. Next tip kind of thing is location. Hmm. Because location is really important. Like, you could be wearing the most amazing outfit and then you take it on the background of like some weird shops and it just doesn't yeah, look right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's another thing again, like, cause I'm purely Instagram, I don't have a blog. I'm happy to take my outfits against a white wall or um, close up against a white wall. But when it comes to like a blog, like your blog, it's more about the story, I suppose, and not the outfit. Yeah. So you really need like a really cool location that suits what you're wearing and your style as well. You kind of have to mirror it, like, you don't have to mirror it, it can be like opposite as well. It just has to look right. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but if you're wearing like a really futuristic outfit and it's going to suit some kind of, you know, like urban minimalist kind of zone, but if you're mm. in some kind of, if you're uh, like, if your style is kind of more vintage or like classic, you could have like shops in the background or like a market or something. Yeah. Like just really... It just has to make sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Really? It's kind of like when you look at any pictures in like, I don't know, magazines or movies, like it, everything's telling a story. So it, it all has to kind of gel together. So that's what you're kind of doing if you're taking an outfit picture. It might not seem like you are, um, but you are actually. Even if it's like a group of friends taking pictures of their outfits before a night out, like that is the story, that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. So if you're wearing an outfit, then it all has to make sense. Mm. But then how do you find your locations? Because I'll see some pictures of yours, I'm like, where the fuck is that? <laughs> like, how have you found that? Like, where even in London is that? Do you know what? I, when I was working for Metaporter last year, like, all of my pictures, most of my pictures were outside Westfield, like, which is a shopping centre okay. in central London. Mm. And a lot of people were really shocked to be like, what? Like, what? It doesn't look that. It's, it's all about angles, it's all about, like, cropping. It's all about kind of getting, for me, that kind of plain background because I want to focus on the outfit. I don't want to focus on yeah. the background or anything, but I want it to have that kind of minimal, like, stone, like, texture kind yeah. of feel to it. So Which reflects the style, though, don't you? Like, fits in perfectly with the yeah, style. Yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> and I think what, something that we went over before, like, angles and stuff, there's things that I personally do, I don't know if you do them, when mm. you're actually taking pictures myself. So like, always look at the picture when it's being taken, like go and check what they look like, because then you can you can see what it's, the end result is like, and you can change your position or body or style. Um, so I will like go up on my tiptoes, if I feel like I'm looking a bit short, I'll just like tiptoe a little bit. Mm. Or I will move my shoulders a bit more forward, or like angle my chin so it doesn't look Fat. That's what I always do because I've got a bit of a holiday chin. I'll always look like down here <laughs> and that is my, I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm looking down there. It just, it, it works, I think. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> That's the thing as well when it comes to like the actual picture you're showing off the clothes. It's about your outfit. So yeah, yeah like checking your angles and making sure you're getting in certain details as well is like yeah. quite a big issue. I tend to not worry too much about my face. I just crop it out mm. if it doesn't look great. Yeah, do like a yeah, just like a mouth thing. Yeah, mouth, like econ mm. style. That's another thing. Unless you are a model, remember you're not a model. Do yeah. you know what I mean you are you are just not just a blogger, but you, you know people aren't expecting you to be a model. They want to see your outfits and they want to see how you're putting it together. Yeah, but yeah. well, as long as you're comfortable and confident, then it'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. In kind of like tips and stuff. I hope you enjoyed this little chat between me and James. It, also, it turned to a bit of an interview at the end, didn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I was like, so Joel! Yeah, tell us more! <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I enjoyed that. I hope, hope you guys enjoyed that too. And I want to say a big thank you to James for coming over. Thank you for having me, Joel. Okay. <laughs> um, I will leave... Uh, me, me and James have done a video on James's channel about six ways to wear a leather jacket. So I will leave a link to that video here. Here it is and in the description below if you want to check that out. Yeah, don't forget to follow James on Instagram. Yeah, oh. <laughs> at James WLSH. At James WLSH. Yeah. Um, if you do take an outfit picture, um, after seeing this video, using some of my advice or whatever, um, put hashtag Galax on Instagram, and I'll be sure to check it out. But yeah, see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye. My sleeves, like. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah.
Can I sit like this? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys! Hi! <laughs> the end of the world is happening. Yeah. So I'm going to take this outfit picture. That's how I feel. <laughs> Every day. <laughs>